welcome back everybody we're here to get back to where we were yesterday we've got fleshy charlie neert marzano and marloin we are the we are team no girls allowed that's the uh that's the joke no no girls allowed if we encounter any females we have to deny them as soon as you arrive at the distress signal shots are fired towards your ship a trap uh oh yeah i don't know i i kind of want to play I don't know what I want to play today for the stream. I'm going to be uploading FTL and Isaac today if all goes to plan, which it should. So that's going to be pretty epic. That said, I don't know exactly what I want to play for the stream. I'm thinking probably plants. It's probably going to be like plants versus zombies. I don't know. My, my philosophy lately has just been put out as many videos as possible. Um, I don't want to get burned out, but it's considering the very minimal amount of editing I'm doing, doing, I mean, I'm basically just playing video games, and that's it, playing video games while talking, so the chances of getting burnt out on that, on that kind of BS are really low, and the returns compared to what I'm doing are, they're not super high, but they're pretty high, I mean, I'm just playing video games, and that's it, I want... As soon as I get my new mic, well not new mic, my new mic cable. As soon as I get the new cable for the mic, my Blue Yeti, I want to get I want to get to work on uh, Yoda Part 2. It'll either be Yoda gets a divorce or Yoda goes to court or maybe even Yoda goes to prison. I'm not exactly sure just yet. But I want to get to work on that stuff. I might get to work on like a script and gathering assets and stuff now. I really don't know. You come across a fire a freighter of NG refugees. It is unclear if they flee from the rebels or the Mantis invaders, but their ship is seriously damaged and they surely need some help. Help them out. Wish them luck and go on their way. Help them out, of course. You give them what scrap you can afford to aid them in their repair efforts, and they give us a burst scatter defense. They thank you repeatedly and share copies of an open source drone schematic with you. Very awesome. Open source open source drone schematics. I don't know how a drone can be open source, but that's pretty cool. Yeah, I'm, oh wait, you discovered that the distress signal originates from the center of a nearby system. A civilian vessel passed too close by the local sun. Their engines and shields were damaged by a solar flare and they are now in danger of drifting into the star. Approach and dock the ship to rescue their crew. Another master solar flare blasts into your ship's right as you're about to complete the docking maneuver. Your civili the civilian vessel is torn away from your ship and their airlock gets ripped open in the process. As bodies begin to spill out, you realize that there's no way to save them now. Nice try, Captain. We appreciate it. My crew and I come from a nearby colony. Please tell our loved ones what happened here. Now save yourselves! They transmit their black box data and cut communication. You try to focus on getting your ship out of there. Now we gotta go alert the people that their family just died. Oh, that's sad. <laughs> that's sad as hell. Anyway, as I was saying, I'm trying to think think up. Oh god, I'm, I'm gonna have to send Mr. Lanius over there and I'll have these two dudes grab this oh wait no no bad idea bad idea he i'll just have him fix the oxygen but uh yeah i'm trying to think i just know i'm gonna have some lines like mm, fucking bullshit this is that's uh, i'm gonna include a line like that just because i get i think it's extremely it would be extremely funny to hear yoda say that something is fucking bullshit i don't i don't know i'm just waiting really i'm just waiting for the my the cable for my yeti to come back so i can actually have proper mic quality and then i'll get started from there and the time being i'm just gonna be playing video games who knows maybe i'll make one of them video essays on like half-life or something and then i'll blow up and and even though it's a video essay on half-life people will still subscribe to me and then they'll get extremely disappointed that i don't just make video essays in fact i barely make any type of video essay or content like that in general you arrive near a small fleet of civilian ng ships a s simple decryption and translation of their com frequency tells you that they are having a frantic discussion about something obviously tr troubling them message of mass and health slightly shocked at your question their leader quickly responds declined offer with apologetic gratitude topic of discussion private matter no concern of the federation okay and there's nowhere are you kidding me this run's probably going to be over yeah, that that would be kind of funny. Say I make a, uh, I make one of them analytical video essays that are ever so popular these days. I get a bunch of people to sub to me, and I don't make another one ever again. That's all. I only make one, and that's it. Okay, Lanius, get out of there. 
I, yeah, I only make one, and that's the only one I ever make, ever. And people are like, I came, I came here for to listen to you analyze shit. Why are you doing this? I mean, just to fuck with them. Oh god, that Lanius fella, he's he's about to die. He's he's pretty damn close to dying. We have a clone base, so it doesn't really matter if he dies, because he'll just come back. But he doesn't. He only heals like eight health every time we we make a jump and I can't even make a jump not just do I have no fuel this beacon isn't connected to any other fucking beacons what the hell that's just that's just confusing all right distress beacon on uh, I'm screwed basically before long a ship jumps nearby no doubt responding to your beacon however any relief you felt disappears as soon as you recognize that the ship is of mantis design prepare for a fight yeah fuck you guys I'm not surrendering F these guys are assholes all right Step one, take out that goddamn clone bay. Fuck your clone bay. Yeah, that's right. Your barrage rips the enemy craft right, op right open. The craft has sustained t substantial external damage. It is unlikely that their life support will be able to hold up much longer. Yeah, fuck these guys. Yep, these guys are complete assholes. Oh, you really wanna? You really wanna try and fix your freaking? Yeah, that's what I like to see. Take out their engines next. Well, I want to get piloting and engines all all in one, one fell swoop. Yes. These guys thought that they... The, easy prey. Easy prey, they think. Next thing they know, I just completely ripped their ship in half. Thanks to the good old flak cannon. The ship explodes, leaving behind a collection of useful scrap material. I am... Oh, I'm so fucked. Oh, I can't even tell the people... Well, is that... Which quest is that? Oh, God. Okay, well... I'm fucked. I'm I'm fucked as shit. <laughs> yeah, I'm fucked as shit. Oh god. Oh, there's no getting out of this one. I just gotta hunker down and uh, I would dump everything into engines, but I I don't have any. I should have upgraded my engines before I did anything. I feel kind of embarrassed. Oh god. Yeah, I'm opening that up. In fact, I'm gonna open all that up. I don't anywhere that people aren't. I'm gonna have. Uh, oh well, that's the run. Great, that was that was fucking awesome. Well, I'm not gonna let that be the end. All right, random ship. Uh, the Stormwalker. Is this this is another teleport one? No, I got the same. No, I'm not doing that. The Shrike. Uh, his name is just G. Oh, it's Meg Mega G Wolf. I'll, what the fuck is... So if I have, like, Super A Asshole, will his name just be A? Nope. What if I type in Mega G Wolf. Wolf. G, right? All right. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. All right, so I need a four-letter word. Fuck a... Sh fuck a shit. Nope. Okay, well, I don't know what that's all about. Alright, he's gonna be named, uh, Bill? Actually, no, he's, he's glowing blue. Let me think of a... This guy, I'm gonna make him, uh... That color. I'm gonna make this... Vanguard of Valor. Who are... Why is his name Vov? What? Okay. What? 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 Whatever. Yeah, get out of here. Get, get that name out of here. I don't like that name. Alright. Adrian. Uh, Adrian Shepard. Clearly, from, uh, Adrian Shepard from Half-Life. This guy will be, uh, he's blue. He reminds me of Sans, so he's Sans the Skeleton, though. And this guy, he's gonna be, uh, he's gonna be a Shrike, named after, he's gonna be named after the ship. The Shrike is actually a bird that will impale its prey on a stick. This guy looks like something a Shrike would use to kill its prey. Also, it's covered in blood, so... Reminds me of a Shrike. His name's gonna be a Shrike. So we got Adrian Shepard, Sans the AI Skeleton, and the Shrike. Named after the ship, which is named after a bird that knows basic tool use. Very terrifying. Alright. Yeah, okay, let's, uh, let's talk to our AI. Your AI crew member, Sans, asks you to describe the mating rituals associated with your species. I can't understand why you would choose such a cumbersome way to reproduce. What, what are you, what are you, what are you, excuse me? Huh. Oh, you gotta be fucking kidding me. You jump into a sector of a nebula beset by a plasma storm. An automated rebel scout is stationed at the beacon and moves into attack. Yeah, this is fucking amazing. 
Oh, sweet. I love, I love it. Yeah, not, not being able to do shit. Awesome. We got the wide fleck and we got the, uh, the small fleck. What are they called? They're called the, I can't, I can't check what they're called, but one's wide and one's not wide. I'll put the wide one and then the small one. Some overlap. I completely forgot about their shields. Yeah, I should, uh, I should definitely be having, uh, good old wide fleck firing first. That'll take care of the shields. Then I'll have concentrated fleck kind of pull in the back. Oh, that was just disappointing. All right. Wide fleck. Then we have concentrated. You know what? No, I don't want them. I don't want to get, I don't want to get fired at in general. So, uh, no thanks. The energy level suddenly spiked on the enemy craft. This is not good. Yeah, this is not good. Not good at all. Very epic. The AI wasn't smart enough to outweigh well, your moral, your more natural instincts. It's destruction as a sign of that discovery. You click what seems useful. What the fuck? I, I didn't, I didn't expect this game to get all philosophical on me about the, uh, about the merits of AI versus the merits of being a natural being natural the merits of being an animal as opposed to an ai god i can't speak your chump leads to a completely unremarkable binary star system there's nothing else around all right let's talk to the lanius lanius not is not very talkative it just rep repeatedly number mumbles a single word metal you go metal 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 that's what it sounds like god i can't fucking speak i cannot speak one bit i just i trip over all my words all right, I'm gonna go here. I don't know why. It's whenever. It's only whenever I'm reading shit from here. It's like I just my, my whenever it comes to comprehension, or not comprehension, just reading and vocal vocalizing what I read. I just instantly the switch goes off. Everything goes wrong. Scans show a remote settlement being blockaded by a pirate ship. The sh the ship hastily messages you, "Stay out of this, or you'll be next." Concentrate fire on them. Concentrate fire on these motherfuckers. All right. Uh. So here's an idea. Let's uh let's send these guys in there. So okay, here's my uh here's my awesome idea. We teleport the fuck in, right? This guy, he's on our side now. Hell yeah. And then okay, while that's happening, I'll send the wide flak and then the normal flak in on the on the things. This has a clone bay, right? Yeah, I could totally blow this ship up if I wanted to. Oh, look at this. Oh, that stupid freaking mantis. Chase him down. All right. Oh, that, there's the rock guy. Kill the rock guy. Chase him down. I'll brainwash you, dude. Don't make me. Yeah, there we go. With the pirates gone, you signal the station. We appreciate what you've done, but there will be just another ship looking to profit from our isolation soon enough. Sorry we can't give you more. It's all good. And uh, we send them back to their stations. And from here we, um, I'm going to upgrade the engine and the teleportation. And I'm going to put the first one into engine and then the second one into teleporters. There we go, the store. If I could, oh, I could have bought a sensor system, couldn't I have? There's artillery, they're selling fucking artillery. I want artillery, that's badass as shit. Artillery is the most badass thing in this game. Adaptive gel suits protect crew from certain hazards and reduces damage from low oxygen to a minimum. Oh, well, that's cool as shit. No, I want them. I want. I want adaptive gel suits in real life. Hell yeah. That'd be cool as shit. A derelict freighter is floating near this beacon. It could contain something valuable. Attempt to salvage what you can from the debris. 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 Who knows what danger? Yeah, no, we're salvaging. Of course, we're salvaging. All right. We're gonna go here, we're gonna come around and then go to the exit. We wanna explore as many beacons as possible. An especially well armed pirate ship approaches you. Hand over one of your crew members, and the rest of you can go free, unharmed. Never! We'll see that. Yeah, we see. We'll see about that. No, fuck you. Let's do this. We're gonna fuck this guy up. Alright, so step one teleport into the weapons. Step two first person that walks in there, we brainwash. Step three, we send in the concentrated and wide flak. Just fucking embarred that shit. Yeah. 
Chase them. Step four. We chase these motherfuckers down. Yeah, get rid of the oxygen. Oh, there we go. We are ruthless. We are ruthless killing machines. It appears the slaves did not survive the fighting. What the fuck? The, you find their burnt bodies in the hold. Before you strip the ship, you hear faint noises in the walls. You break off a latch and a slave falls out of a hidden compartment, coughing. Once recomposed, the slave wonders what their fate will be. Force them to work. Free the slave. The former slave thanks you enthusiastically for the rescue. He can barely believe. Uh, why can't... Why can't we... Well, if you're... If you're, you're... You have a chance for your crew to be like, Hey, that's not cool. And then they'll leave if you force them to work on your ship. So, like... Damn. So we're gonna be we're gonna be the good guys, even though the the Federation is seemingly kind of tyrannical. We're gonna be the good guys. The distress beacon is coming from a small civil civilian station. They have been raided com repeatedly by ships coming from a nearby pirate stronghold, and they actually hoping for the rebels to come and save them. Well, maybe the Federation is still good for something. Will you help us? Hey, fuck you guys. Offer to lead the charge. Okay, you know what? I just said we're gonna be the good guys. I'll we'll go fuck these guys up. After some discussion, the local defenders agree with your idea. All right, let's do this. We keep their ships away from you while we while you pan their outpost. Take the lead. Yeah, okay. We're gonna go fuck these guys up. First things first, we send. No, no, not the AI. Get the AI out of here. The AI. We have an AI pilot for a reason. All right. Uh, very very nicely done. All right, we come into the weapons, right? And then we we mind control that guy. Wide flak. And then normal flak. Look at that. Oh god, the noise the Lanius make when they die. Oh god, lord. They'll be fine. They will be fine. Alright, uh, wide flak in there. And then clone bay. We're, we're getting rid of their fucking clone bay. You best believe we're getting rid of that clone bay. Alright, so... Now what? They got the... Okay. Wide flak right there and get rid of that oxygen. We don't want them breathing. Breathing? You're not allowed to breathe if you're fighting against me. Not cool. Alright, you know what? Speak speaking of which, I'm sending them in. Get in on that fucking oxygen. Hell yeah. I'll actually send these guys. Alright, clone bay time. Come on. They have. A Why do they have a doors system? What is this? Alright, clone bay's down. I gotta send the guys into the clone bay. Or the one guy. Hey, you two. Yeah, there you go. Yeah, make sure the AI fixes the clone bay. That would be bad. All right, yeah. I just forgot. Oh, oh, I'm taking heavy ass damage. I'm teleporting these guys back. Yeah, these guys gotta help me fix some stuff. Oh God. I'll send Mr. AI to go fix the engines. These guys gotta stay on here for a second. No, no way. I'm letting them. All right. Concentrated flak. What wide flak is different? Door system. I don't really care about right now. I'm gonna send them back in. I'm gonna send them right into the clone bay, and I'm gonna I wanna mind control first person that comes in there. And uh, this guy get on the piloting. I think there's a fire on the ship. That the fire will be dealt with accordingly. Alright, and by accordingly, I mean in a second. I don't really care about the fire. Alright, now just camp them out. Camp them out in the clone bay. While I, uh... I bombard their O2. Yeah, oh shit, the oxygen system's on fire. I'm gonna teleport. I'm gonna tell. Okay, I can't... I can't separate them. Oh, fucking well, I guess. And, uh, one of them just got fucked. Oh, that was great. All right, I'm just gonna, I'm just gonna actually attack him. Screw it. I need Mr. Lannis over here to. All right, fuck it. He's gonna die. I'm just relying on this guy not dying. All right. Oh, there we go. I, I wanted, I wanted to kill them all and get the extra loot, but oh well. The pirate stronghold breaks apart, and the few remaining pirate ships escape deeper into the field. Only two of the defenders reported. The outlaws knew their turf, turf quite well. We suffered heavy damage from asteroid impacts. Seriously, you do this stuff on a daily basis? We've got to search for our friends. They thank you for your help and offer a small reward and then head off into the field. All right. These, these frickers. Look at these frickers. All right. Right here. Please don't have any people. I got some repairs to do. 
Station Hills. Greetings, Captain. You're the guy's troubles on, right? We can help you out. But we are constantly in need for scrap to patch up the space bucket. Alright. Um... Oh, fuck. I can get a Mantis guy. Purchase detailed mappings. Mantis boy. Come on, Mantis. Welcome to the club. Uh, currently, the club is... <laughs> the club is in dire condition. Let me put it like that. Yeah, let me, uh... Th we have a fire breaking out in the, uh... The northern wing. So... No, uh, the, the fire's gone. Thanks to my, uh, masterful commanding. Alright. Let's, uh... Send everybody to their stations. I guess I'll have Shrike. His name's Shrike. That's a pretty fucking... That, that's, a, that's a fighting name right there. He's a Shrike. He picks rodents and small animals up and then... Drops them on a stick. And that's how he does his shit, so... That, that's the name of somebody who fights. Alright. Shrike and Mantis Man. Blaine. You know what? He's green. I'm gonna rename him to Yoda. Just cause he's green. Blaine. You know what? He's Blaine. He'll be, uh... He'll be the gym leader, Blaine. From, uh... The 7th... Yeah, 7th gen in Pokemon Red and Blue. It's straight up just Blaine. Alright, uh... Here and then go to the exit. We need any kind of repairs we can get an unidentified ship is badly damaged and still being assaulted by a space pirate the victim begins a distress message until the pirate cuts it off cuts in and offers to split the bounty no nope we don't take we don't take bribes all right gentlemen right there right there yeah Yeah, okay. Everything's out. I'll send the Mantis Man in. Just to really extra fuck him up. Yeah, that's right. The pirates are all dead, leaving the ship in dead, dead in space. You scrounge what you came from the ship from before contacting its former prey. Thank you for the aid. I'm an arms dealer that usually only works with rebels, but considering the circumstances, I'll make an exception. Let's see. Uh, I guess repairs. I was talking about how much I needed repairs. Let's get some. Let's get some repairs. And uh, yeah, we don't need fuel. I'm gonna. I'm pretty good on fuel. All right. Uh, let's not accidentally leave the leave everybody. That's happened to me before. I've just left people by accident. <laughs> it's it fucking sucks. All right, they're about to be here, so we need to make do. After some extensive scanning, you find an antique long-range jump node in this system. Miraculously, the installation is still powered and functional. A ship with pirate markings hails you. Hello, Captain. You have been causing the rebels quite a headache. The bounty on your crew is substantial. Hand one of your crewmen over, and we'll share it. No. Yeah. Fuck these guys. All right. Come on, come on. I'm waiting for this guy to finish uh, repairing. All right. We're gonna send the we're gonna send the dudes in to the med bay. That's a terrible idea. Fuck it, whatever. Med bay it is. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Angie's gonna have to fight a two on one. He'll fucking die. If okay. Wait. And then this is the part where we send in the concentrated in the wide flag just really shake shit up you know what I'm saying shit gets shit just got shook up all right wide flag right there and uh let's get rid of their missiles I guess yeah and with uh you've made your port we are beaten no oh, fuck you guys oh they died oh oh no they they got blown up in the ship no longer shall these pirates terrorize the people of this sector. Your final volley conf confirms their demise. You pick what looks useful from the debris and move on. And now we gotta wait for these two to recharge. While we're doing that, I'll, might give me a sip. I'll do some uh, sip getting ASMR. Alright, I'm sorry if that was weird. I'll put a disclaimer for you to like skip or turn down the volume or something next time. <laughs> I don't I don't even know what to say, just if that was weird, yeah. 
I mean, that's what you come for. If you're if you're here, you're looking you're looking for that sip taking ASMR every other uh, moment I get a time to actually take a sip. All right, so this is just filled with fucking enemies. I'm not going through any nebulas though. So quarantine sector it is. We're going through the coronavirus sector. Haha, <laughs> I'm so topical. You're on route towards another sector. Engineering asks for orders regarding fuel usage and during the travel. Stand standard engines, please. And we are going to socialize with Mantis. The Mantis is coughing up some acid as you approach it. Better stand back, Captain. Caught a Mantis cold. Hee <laughs> hee. You are not sure if the creature is indeed sick or just wants to scare you. <sighs> Damn, what an asshole. Or maybe... It doesn't have to be the asshole. You can just be paranoid. A disabled Federation craft drifts near this beacon. Hello, Federation crafts. Do you read me? We've been ambushed by the rebels. I'm the only one left here. Life support is failing. May I come aboard, sir? Why would I decline? You can't really be sure that this recruit is not infected, but for now they seem all right. Oh, wait. Yeah, that's why I would decline, because they could be infected. Well, you all too late now. All right. So, I'll come like through there. A small civilian station has suffered a minor outbreak and activated its distress signal, but the quarantine fleet got here first. The decontamination ships are docked and busy with proceeding processing the locals. No one takes notice of you. Alright, we're going to talk to, with Mr. Mantis again. Mantis is busy sharpening his claws. Later, Captain! You'd rather prefer not to bother the creature. Okay. I, I keep talking to the Mantis because there's a chance that uh there's a chance that you'll be able to get a mantis baby also joseph okay that's gonna be uh you know what fuck it that's gonna be joseph from jojo's bizarre adventure each one of these characters is gonna be a they're gonna be a uh character from well any any other form of media it's it makes the making the thumbnails a lot more interesting Scans reveal a large asteroid field nearby. Short-range scanners may discover useful materials while we wait for the FTL to recharge. Explore that shit. Aww. So we've got Sans, Adrian Shepard, a bird, Blaine from Pokemon, and Joseph Joestar. Alright. You are somewhat glad the, that some civilians made it off their disease-ridden worlds. Still, most of them indeed might spread the plague, and on top of that, like the crew of the ship, engage in piracy to survive. Oh, shit, I'll give him some scrap. Thank you, thank you, we're sorry, but we have no choice to resort to these kinds of measures. I'm just, be I'm just being cool, I'm just being cool. It's, it's a donation, I'm not giving it to pirate demands, I'm just donating. A civilian ship lingers at this beacon and hails. Wow, not many, many cruisers left in this sector. I sure would like to get out of here, too. Could I hit your ride in exchange for serving on board? Yes. No! You soon realize that this person is not in hell. Ah, fuck you. Fuck you. Fuck you. Fuck you. Fuck you. Fuck you, asshole. You're an asshole. Fuck you. Aw, oh, you fuck you. Fucking dick. Cock. Asshole. Fuck you. Where's the door system? Get to the door system. Fuck these guys. Fuck these dudes. Fuck them, assholes. They took Blaine. They t of all people to take, they take fucking Blaine? The Mantis Man? One of our guys we used to fight? What assholes. Fuck those guys. Looks like we're back to that dynamic duo, Adrian Shepard and the bird. Damn it. Amazing. At uh, first, I act ch I I acted charitable too many times. Fuck those guys. You know what? I'm I'm tired of being charitable. I want to be a cock, a cock licker. Okay, well, I'm not gonna. I'm figuratively a cock licker. I don't actually lick cocks. You are not sure what is going on here. Several individuals try to teleport aboard from a heavily damaged civilian ship nearby. Was this distress signal a trap? The civilians immediately, immediately surrender after beaming on board. Some of them drop makeshift melee weapons. Many have bloodstains on their clothes. We're sorry to intrude, Captain, but we just had to get out of this place. Our transport waits just one jump ahead. Uh, okay. I'll press one, and if anything happens ever again, I am no longer going to help anybody for the rest of this run. This is utter bullshit. 
complete and utter bullshit. Looks like we're fucking Mr. Hermit Purple over here and Adrian fucking Shepard wrench dude. Those two are the guys now. I don't god damn it. And we we have to we have to go beat the fuck out of Shrike. That's gonna be Adrian's job. What? A, oh God! Oh God! Oh shit! Get out of here! Oh! Oh no! They're gonna die. They're really gonna die. They need. They need oxygen. They need some milk. Remember that meme? He needs some milk. That was the meme. That was, that was the funny. All right. Adrian, wait, 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 Adrian, you gotta fight. You gotta fight your old bird buddy. He's an asshole. Look at him. Look at that fucking asshole. Never again. Never again. Especially never again in another quarantine sector. Fuck that shit. That's bull. No! You know what? Fuck it. Yeah, everybody go in there. Kick his ass. There's not much he can do. Beat his ass. He oh, you gotta be kidding me. You gotta be shitting on my pants. He's having a fucking communist uprising in the engines. What the hell? Alright, fight him. Kill him. Awesome. That was just sad. I'm gonna be honest. That was just really sad. We're down to three crew members. All because I decided to be a charitable person. And let people aboard. Fuck them. I should have just ejected them. I should have put them in a little escape pod and jettisoned them out. Right onto fucking Jupiter back there. Screw those guys. Oh my god. We went from... Okay, who did we just lose? We lost Shrike. And we lost Blaine. Amazing. We lost a, a bird and a gym leader. Great. Looks like it's uh, fucking <laughs> Joseph Jones. No, Joseph Joestar and fucking Adrian Shepard. Those two are the guys. They're going to be the... Uh, They're gonna be the fighter men. You arrive at a quarantine checkpoint and set up. Okay, you know, yeah, fuck these guys. No, I'm attacking these motherfuckers. Get in there. We we spare nobody. Get the fuck in there. Hacking? You really want to hack us? Yeah, go ahead, hack us. Nice job. Really, really did some good. I'll bombard your ass. Kill him! Kill them! There are no more life signs remaining on this ship. You strip it of all useful materials. Yeah, fuck those guys. Alright, I'm gonna send good old Adrian Shepard over there. And good old Joseph Joestar right there. What other Josephs are there? There's Joseph from the Bible. The Carpenter. That's the only other Joseph I know. Off the top of my head. Uh. There's. <sighs> Pretty sure there was like a king in Britain named Joseph. I could I could be 100% wrong about that. I really don't know. Uh. <sighs> Just in the comments. Give me a Joseph. It appears the distress beacon is coming from the surface of a nearby moon. Your seniors are picking up a single life form. Yeah, let's see. Fuck this guy. Nope, you're not coming on board. Screw you. Nope, never again. Nobody comes on board. This ship? No. You really think you have the right to come on board my ship after two people just fucking died? Uh, my, my ship is one-third JoJo reference now. Do you think I want that? And it's all because the only other Joseph I can think of is from the fucking Bible. Several stations were guarding this long-range relay, but they have been devastated by the fleet bombardment. Smoldering debris bumps against your shields. The main inst installation barely survived the battle. Alright, I can tell. Yeah, yeah, I'll sell some missiles. We are now going to go to the rock sector, because fuck the nebulas. Nebula schmebula. That's what I, that's what my motto. We'll talk to, uh, Lanius. You want to talk to the Lanius, but realize that your micro rebreather is completely depleted from the last conversation. Better not resist Fissia just for a little chat. Alright. 
I do believe this is the third sector. We'll just see right here. Yeah, that's sector three. So that's the episode. <sighs> God damn it. I'll see you all next time where hopefully the run doesn't end as badly as the one that began this video. Jesus Christ. Anyway, I'm gonna leave I'm gonna leave on this uh music for a second.